Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into Sid Meier's Civilization 7 and why this game could be the most accessible entry yet, both for veteran players and for those who've never touched the series before. So what's new with Civilization 7? Well, the biggest game changer is the introduction of the age transition mechanic. In past Civilization games, one bad decision early on could doom your entire campaign. But now, Civilization 7 is shaking things up by breaking the game into distinct eras antiquity, exploration, and modern. At the end of each era, you'll face a crisis which lets you rethink your strategy and adapt before moving forward. This makes the game far more forgiving, which is fantastic news for new players. No longer will one wrong move in the early game lead to hours of suffering. Instead, you get a fresh start with each new era. This means you can course correct your mistakes and still have a shot at victory, making Civ 7 more accessible than ever before. Another reason this new feature is a game changer, it eliminates that perfect playthrough pressure that has haunted Civilization fans for years. You don't need to be hyper focused on making flawless decisions every turn. Instead, the focus is on experimenting with new strategies and enjoying the dynamic gameplay. For seasoned fans of the franchise, the core depth and strategic complexity we all love is still there. You still get to manage resources, negotiate with rival leaders, and build your empire from the ground up. But now, there's less stress attached to each decision because the game lets you recalibrate your approach. And let's talk about the crisis mechanic at the end of each era. These moments aren't just about survival, they shape your civilization's future. Every decision during a crisis will determine what kind of civilization you'll be leading in the next era. It's like hitting the reset button, but with a twist your choices still matter, but they don't trap you in an unwinnable scenario. This feature isn't just for beginners. Veteran players will find new layers of depth and excitement. The unpredictability of each era transition means that no two playthroughs will be exactly the same. Even if you've mastered civilization, the new mechanic will keep you on your toes. So, to wrap it up, Civilization 7 could be the perfect entry point for new players and a breath of fresh air for long-time fans. The combination of strategic depth, flexibility, and the ability to recover from mistakes makes this one of the most exciting releases in the series yet. What do you think about Civilization 7 New Age Transition mechanic? Will it bring more players into the fold, or is the change too drastic for veteran fans? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.